Today I'm going to show you how to convert simple images into simple extrusions to Fusion 360 in a mildly automated fashion. So we're going to start out with two images. We have an image here, just sort of represents a picture of a pattern you want to copy, or what I would recommend starting with is a vector image, sort of like this. Now it's not a vector image format, it's just a PNG, but it's in a vector style. So let's get started. So to start out, we want to open up GIMP or another image editor of your choice. And this is just to convert the image to be black and white only. So you want to go here, go to colors, threshold. And this basically sets what's black and what's white. And I basically want to say that I want to copy the text on the front of the alarm clock. So that's about good. And you can crop it down to match your needs. Cleaning up a few of these little spots also helps. So you have your image here that you want to copy. So we want to export it, control E, and we want to export it as a PNG. It's not necessary to export it as a PNG, but it will help. So that's the step done. Now we have our PNG and we go over to Inkscape. Now this is a vector image editing program, but it can generate vectors as well. And it's a pretty good program for free. So we have our image here. It's still a raster image, meaning it's made out of pixels. And we want to do path trace bitmap, which basically traces the image and makes a vector out of it. And let's get a preview just to see that it looks reasonably OK. And hit OK. It'll generate it. And then you close that window and drag it off. And now this top image should be a vector. You'll be able to tell because as I zoom in, it's all, well, not really smooth because it's still had a bit of noise on it. But with this one, when I zoom in, you see it is pixelated, which means we don't need the pixelated one anymore. Click on it, hit delete. And now we have our vector right here. So we go file, save as, and we can save it as just a standard SVG. So we go here and I will save it as alarm clock. So that is saved, we can close out of that. And now we have our alarm clock SVG vector image. Now to import this into Fusion 360, we have to first create a sketch. So create a sketch, I like to make it on this plane and you have to go under insert, insert SVG. And it basically replaces the sketch with whatever SVG you add. So here's the SVG I just created. I import it and it's gonna be pretty big, yeah, it's big over there. So let's just scale it down a little bit just so that it's more reasonable. Hit enter and it'll think. It's a pretty complicated um, vector, but we can see that it is all sealed, which is nice. And it's already a path. So we can stop sketch, hit E for extrude. And now you should just be able to select all the parts you want to extrude. So this is now the alarm clock extruded. It's not really a great example, but you can see that it, from the process of going from image to 3D model did not take very much time at all. What I used to do was just import an image as a canvas and then just trace over it with splines. And while that would have made a 3D model that looked nice, it took way too long. Extrude, and depending on how complicated the vector image that you're starting out with, it may slow down your computer quite a lot because the vector could be made out of several thousand lines and whenever you extrude those, it becomes several thousand faces. And that can be a bit difficult for CAD programs to handle. But yeah, that's basically it. Very simple, easy way to do it so long as you know how to do it. I didn't know about this option before and this would have taken me probably about half an hour of tracing because that's how I thought you had to do it before, but quick bit of Googling, found it out, decided to make this quick tutorial for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.